doctors gave me only one year to live, and God healed my body from the virus at a year old, and that's when it all began. I've been blind since birth, but don't feel sorry for me. I tried to find somebody to teach her, give her lessons on piano, but they said she had to be able to read. And somebody says, I was self-taught, but I'm God-taught. As parents, we just thought, you know, can she really sing? Or just, we were being, you know, it's our daughter. <laughs> just being parents. Yeah. It's uh, unforgettable the first time you hear. It was just beautiful and it was loud and big. What I saw was coming from this little girl. I was just like, oh my gosh. I don't know that I've heard anybody do any better for the national anthem. <laughs> And then not long after that, we got a phone call from the Brooklyn Nets. She's met the president a time or two. Sung for him several times, but she got to meet him in person two times. And she just candidly just looked at him and, and after quick greeting said, The only thing that will make America great again is Jesus Christ and God's word with your help. She wants people to know that with God, nothing is impossible. And that's why she does what she does. Yes, she loves singing. Yes, she loves playing the piano, and she's great at both. But her biggest thing is to tell the world about Jesus. When I reach that city, the first face I'll see is Jesus, my Savior. I've had people lay hands on me and pray over me that God will heal my sight. But you see, I do not want to see here on this earth. Jesus Christ will be the first face I want to see when I get to heaven. I just had tears in my eyes because I didn't know that she'd felt that way. I'm truly blessed. I'm glad that God seen me fit to be the father of, of, uh, of, of such this. an angel. <laughs> and I've told her several times, I said, Marlena, if you was living in the Bible days, you would probably have a book in the Bible. <laughs> I see mommy. Book of Marlena. <laughs>